Hi, it's Darren from ProBlogger here. Today I want to show you a technique that I've been using just for the last few weeks on how to uh, come up with ideas to write about on your blog. And now a lot of bloggers will face this problem. You know, you, after a few months of blogging, you, you run out of all those great ideas that you had when you started your blog and you, you want to come up with more. Now this is a technique that we will work best on a, on a blog with lots of readers, but even just some readers, that um, particularly readers that are subscribing to your newsletter, it can be used quite effectively, even in small numbers over a, lo a longer period of time. So you can see on the screen here I've opened up Aweber. Aweber is my um, email newsletter um, tool that I've talked about numerous times on ProBlogger. And what I've opened up here is on my digital photography school, one of the newsletters on that. I have a number of them. But this is an autoresponder that I've set up uh, for DPS and one of the newsletters. And you can see here that um, on this particular one I have seven different messages that go out once someone subscribes to my newsletter. These are automated messages that go out at predetermined intervals. You can see here the intervals on the left. They get a welcome to DPS message straight away on the first day that they sign up. Then they get a series of, of informational um, newsletters, including one promotional one. So they, they actually hear about the products that we have and get offered a discount, but they also get um, emails that are purely informational that give them um, quality links back into archives on the site. Number seven here is the one I want to talk about today. What would you like to learn about um, is the title of it. And I'll open it up here. I've already opened it up. What would you like to learn about photography next? Now, they're getting this email. You'll see there um, it's, it's around four months into their sequence. So they've already been subscribed for a while. They've been getting our weekly newsletter updates, which is in addition to this autoresponder. So they've, they've got some connection with DPS. And then they get this email. Uh, basically thanks them for, for joining um, and introduces the idea that we're doing some planning um, for the for the site, which we're all, always doing. And at the time I started this autoresponder, I was actually doing a week of intensive planning and uh, introduces the concept. We want it to be um, DPS to be as helpful as possible. And we've got a survey to help us to improve the site and to come up with topics to write about. And then it gives them a link to click. When they click on that link, they are taken to a survey. Now, I've set it up in SurveyMonkey. SurveyMonkey is a tool. Um, I think you get um, a certain amount for free. I've signed up for the premium edition because I'm sending so many people to this as part of my newsletter. And uh, you, this is the back end of SurveyMonkey where you set up your questions. But here you can see the questions that I'm asking. I introduce the topic again and talk about why I'm doing the survey. Then I get them to begin to describe themselves um, in terms of the level of photographer that they are. Um, then I ask the question, I would like to see tutorials on DPS on the following topics and get them to choose all that apply. Now these are predetermined topics that we do write on from time to time. And uh, the, the idea of this question is really just to work out what the priorities of people are. Then I ask them, which topics would you like to see a more comprehensive guide to? So here what I'm asking is I'm trying to get a feel for, for what people might pay for information on um, because I want to develop ebooks. So here I'm doing a bit of a survey on that. One of the biggest ones was travel photography. So we developed a, a, um, a, a, an ebook on that. Then I asked them a question about the post-production tools they use, Photoshop, Paint Shop, you know, Lightroom, Aperture, that type of thing. And this is the gold one. This is the one I want to talk about today. Apart from those listed above, what topics would you like to see covered more on DPS? Feel free to be as specific as you like. So anything from a general topic like underwater photography to more specific ones like slow sync, slow sync fat, flash, or how to sharpen images in Photoshop. So I'm giving them permission there to go beyond those broad categories that I introduce later and to ask specific questions. Now, SurveyMonkey gives you some great uh, anal analytics. And so you can see here the answer to that first question of graph people. I've actually got 71% of readers who say they've had a camera for a while. They're, they're fairly confident, but they want to get more advanced. And we get um, sa same sort of stats on these other ones. But what I want to go do down here below is this last question that I talked about. Um, you can see here I've had this survey running for um, a couple of months now. I've had 6,369 people tell me what they want to get more information on. Specific questions.
questions. Now this is gold, this is really gold. Now you get a download button here and you can download it as a PDF or as um, an Excel, whatever you like. Um, that's the wrong one. Let me open up the results of this. Now 6,000 people have told me what they want to get information on. Um, and they've given me specific questions. Now, some of these questions aren't very helpful. Some of the answers aren't very helpful. You know, I've got someone here who says fashion. Well, we kind of figured that, but they probably would have ticked the fashion photography box above. But um, here we go. Look, fixing problems like blown out skies or wrinkle removal or skin softening. There's three topics that I could go away and write on. Uh, fish eye photography, uh, taking pics of babies and pets. Um, you've got a lot of quite interesting um, stuff here. A lot of these questions are very specific. They're post-type questions. Some of them people joke and they give you crappy answers and, and stuff that they're just trying to be funny. But this is gold. There is 6,000 responses here. Now, DPS has a fairly large audience. Um, and so we are able to get 6,000 responses and that's great. But even a blog that maybe getting only a, a, a small number of people signing up to its newsletter every day. What happens is, as, a, as an autoresponder, remember, I've set this up as the seventh thing, so they're getting all this quality information first. But after, after a few months of being subscribed, they actually still got questions and they're, they're answering them. Now, we have around eight or 900 people sign up a day for this. So eight or 900 people are getting sent to this survey every day. You might only have eight or nine people getting this information every day but you will find over time if you have this as part of your autoresponder for a year or two you'll begin to build up a bank of questions that you can then draw upon later so if i'm ever wondering you know what should i write about today on my blog i'll tell you that file that excel file that i opened up before is one of the first places that i go because it is just gold it's got so much great information hope this has been helpful for you it's a technique that i've been using over the last few months on my blog and it's really helped me to come up with a lot of great um, things to write about on my site